What is wrong? I'm mad that I don't have an ET t-shirt. I mean, this is the closest I can get. What do you need an ET t-shirt for? Well, because of today's product review. I don't even know if I want to do today's product review. This is going old school. So we're going to review a product that I'm not super thrilled about reviewing, but I feel like this one definitely needs review because I think a lot of people are going out and going to buy this. This is my childhood. Reese's, they've changed the name. It's not peanut butter cups, they're miniature cups. It actually says we've changed our name. These are zero sugar Reese's peanut butter cups. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down and couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I think it. we're crazy for actually reviewing these. We're, I feel like we're gonna get a bunch of hate and then I don't even know if, how I'm gonna feel after I eat these. Well, here's the thing too, I know that E.T. was associated with Reese's Pieces. Yes. But I thought of him as just all things Reese's. And right. Reese's was a huge part of my oh. childhood. It was my favorite snack. It was what I dug through the bag for on Halloween. Okay. There was no trading of the Reese's peanut butter cups. Okay. And especially not the miniatures. Yep. So I had to get them. So when you ate Reese's peanut butter cups, did you eat the chocolate and leave the peanut butter for last or did you just bite right in? I ate it in sections. You ate it around? I, like, I, is that how you top, eat your lilies or your Chuck Zero? You like eat top, around? bottom, middle. Let us know down in the comment section if you eat peanut butter cups, like, or any kind of filled chocolate cup, do you, like, eat the chocolate around and kind of get the filling where the last bite is mostly filling? I, I just kind of dive filling. right in. You I want, dive like, right in. What are you, a monster? Who does it, like, straight on? I mean, it's gonna be just, like, one bite of chew and swallow. Okay, so we've got these Reese's. It says on the front, new name, sacred, same great taste, miniature cups, zero sugar. Same great taste? It says right on the front, aspartame free. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm a little hesitant for this, but this is bringing me back to why we started doing product reviews to begin with, right? We started yeah. doing product reviews because we felt like we were getting duped right. by the mayonnaise companies who were telling you this was olive oil mayonnaise, and then when you looked at the first or ingredient, avocado. it was canola oil or, or corn oil. And so that's why we started doing product reviews. So we're gonna do a five things. We're gonna dive in. We're gonna eat one of these. Not that I ever have only eaten one Reese's miniature. I don't even know how many is in a serving. Pretty much as many as I can get I my hands on. Part. I haven't looked at that part. Okay. So uh, they're trying to really distinguish it. It's like zero sugar all over this thing. They look like the little mini ones that you would get like in a bag where you buy a whole bag of the little and mini. They did put the little thing around little it. Paper, yep. Which I don't know why. So we gotta dink it. Dink. It smells just like a Reese's. It smells exactly like a Reese's. This, right now I have a problem right in this moment because this is just this too- This is a trigger. This is too close. This is a trigger. Okay. Wow. That it is delicious. seriously tastes like a regular sugar Reese's. Wow. That is really good. It's amazing. Zero sugar. I'm gonna start crying because it upsets me because I've, I've gotten past this and, and now we're back. We're back? Yeah, need, like kind of needlessly, I feel like. Do you want to do five things? Mm -hmm. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. Wow. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on the nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we the recommend it? The milk chocolate it? is delicious. It's all gooey all over my hand. I'm let's gonna... let's start off with number one, the ingredients. Okay. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. I did not show Rachel what the ingredients are in this. No, and I bought it and didn't look. I didn't even look for the price. We had to look up the price. 
It does have a little bit of a grainy taste at the end. The middle isn't quite the yeah, consistency. It's a little grainy. I feel like I'm almost got sand on my tongue. In the middle. The yeah. middle, they just, I mean, it's got to be hard to nail that middle. Okay, you ready? Yes. Maltitol, number first, one ingredient. The first ingredient. So, should I go to the bathroom before we continue this We're video? We're probably going to want to live near the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Peanuts, mm -hmm. cocoa butter, chocolate. What's your chocolate? Doesn't say. No, it does not. It doesn't say. Just says chocolate. What? And then it does have a little, like, cross, like, you know, like an asterisk, but it's a cross thing. Yeah. And down on the bottom, it says that cross means adds a negligible amount of sugar. Let okay. me decide what is negligible. Okay. What? Ready? Are you ready? We're not done. <sighs> lactitol, lactitol, which is milk. Okay. Cellulose gel. Polydextrose sugar. Vegetable oil, which is palm kernel oil and palm oil and peanut oil. Milk fat. Then we have contains 2% or less of cream, which is milk, salt, lecithin, made from soy, sodium castanate, which is milk, natural and artificial flavors, PGPR. What is that? I don't know. Sucralose. They don't explain it. No. Like they're chocolate. Sucralose. You get what you get and you don't get upset. TBHQ. Don't know what that is. And citric acid to maintain freshness. There is a big thing on here. It says excess consumption. Who doesn't exceed right. the amount that you're supposed Who's to eat? Who's not going to eat this entire bag? Excess consumption may lead to gas and bloating. No kidding. And, and, and bathroom pyrotechnics. Bathroom probably. pyrotechnics. Like, hold on to the wall. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Okay. I'm Without even getting in the rest, I'm, do not, oh my gosh. Do not eat this. It's maltitol. The number one. In, they're using sucralose, which I'm fine with sucralose as a sweetener. Why are we using maltitol? Because they need the syrup. Well, and here's the thing. A diabetic is going to reach for this. This is going to be my mom, pre-keto. It's better than, you know, what was normal. And she's going to be reaching for this thinking like, this isn't going to elevate my blood sugar because it says zero sugar. In fact, it's like a giant font bigger than Reese's is the zero. I almost feel like we're going to have to eat another one of these later and do a blood glucose test on this. Just, just because. But... It's not better than Reese's. I'd rather I, see you eat regular sugar. Okay. I enough. rarely get mad during Go meetings. on to number two. Okay. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? So they're saying that there is six servings in this container because you're supposed to have three in a serving. I actually don't think that that's bad. That's probably It's not a bad serving. I need some water. I've never been able to accomplish only eating three Reese's cups. I'm mm -hmm. going to eat this entire bag. I just I just know me. I, I was know. never able to accomplish eating only two of the big ones that came in. I always needed the king size where you got four. Right, yeah, always. Okay. Or the big giant, what is it, the mega cup, and I wanted two or three of those. So this is what everybody likes to see, which is the calories are 110 calories. <laughs> like you can have candy and it's only 110 calories. Like, go for it. Total fat, eight grams. Total protein, two grams. 16 total carbohydrates in three pieces. So that means that total carbohydrates wise, it's what, like five per, per five, thing? Five point three. Five and change. There's three dietary fiber. Which actually isn't bad. No, because they don't need to pump in fake fiber. Like that's just, you know, disguising itself. That it's, ugh, they've got sugar in this. And the sugar alcohols are 12. They're calling the maltitol the sugar alcohol. So How 12, much actual 13, sugar 14, are they 15, saying is in there? So they're saying one net carb for three of these. One net carb? Yeah. And two grams of protein, by the way. I mean, this is basically chicken breast. Is what they're, right? One net carb. Okay. You, you're going to live on the bathroom. Maltitol is horrible. Do not eat this. Is The dog's not locked up or I'd throw this across the room. Yeah. Okay, number three, how do they taste? This is delicious. the worst part. They taste delicious. They're amazing. They taste, they taste delicious. just like you remember. Yeah. The consistency of the middle is different, but I have never seen anybody be like the exact recipe and the zero sugar it tastes exactly the same. You know what right. that makes me think? That somebody's lying. Right. Well, it's, I don't think that they're lying. Well, they're like, using maltitol. Well, I, I don't like that they don't break down the chocolate well, either. Well, yeah, but... They're using maltitol. And here is the problem. Going back to the nutrition label and then the taste, 
They taste so good. And somebody who is brand new to keto, yes. who is into net carbs, you can deduct sugar alcohols, you can deduct fiber. They're gonna look at this and go, this entire oh, bag there's six, only one net carb. Six net carbs. And there carbs. are six servings in here. So I can eat the entire bag and only be at 660 calories and six net carbs. I got one better That's for you. That's the problem. Here's the Rachel craziness. This is how far I can take it. There is only, um, what did I say? There's there's one net carb per serving, six servings. So, so a bag of six. Mm -hmm. I get 20 net carbs in a day, right? So I could eat three bags of this. Oh my gosh. It, it's just, this is why we say if you are going to do net carbs, put a cap on. You want to do 20 net carbs, fine. Say you're not going to eat more than 30 or 40 total carbs because then you wouldn't do that. You would have, yeah. You, you'd be limited to two six. servings max. Six. Because that's going to yeah. put you at 32 six, total six carbs. Six miniature cups. Six miniature cups. Oh my gosh. Okay. You want it ready for this one? Because yeah. I looked it up. To, to add insult to injury. It's, it's not a $10 bag. Number four, how much do they cost? It's $5 for the bag. And there's a lot in the bag. There's a lot in the bag. I mean, so it's cheaper than buying Lily's peanut butter cup. It's cheaper than buying Chalk Zero. Or making your own something. Or making your own. Here's and the thing. It, it, listen, it tastes really good. So it tastes good and it's cheap. I cannot fault them. They're a company. They're not somebody who cares about me. They don't care about us at they're, all. They're not a, this is not a friend. I need to stop looking at them as a friend. Mm -hmm. It's a business. This is the problem with net carbs. These companies use net carbs to sell us a product. Yeah. And this is disgusting. They're doing their job. It's whether or not I fall for it. So let's talk about five. So we're yeah. into five, right? Number five. Would we recommend this? No. Do not eat this. <laughs> do not eat this. Okay. Number one. You better bleep that out. Uh, don't worry. It'll be bleeped oh out. My but that's gracious. that's how strongly I feel about this. Hey, for, okay. You're gonna overdo it. Anybody who is eating, and then you know what the worst part is? Four years keto. This kind of triggers me. I'm like, oh, I got a whole stack. At least I have a whole stack of Chalk Zero in the other room. I'm trying. Now, I haven't had Chalk Zero in a couple of months, but this makes me want to go eat a whole bag. So if you're new to keto or maybe you've been on keto three months and you go and have this, and then it, this is going to trigger someone right back into regular Reese's one day. I am holding back the tears right now because this is this was too, this was too close. It's, it is. This was too close, and this was something that I had a bad day. Somebody mistreated me. I, you know, something's going wrong at work. These were types of things that I would reach for when I was really stressed out and um, I was hurting. I consoled myself with something that tastes exactly like this. Yeah. So, so I, yeah, no. And and here's the thing, maltitol. They don't break down the chocolate. What there was a company at one point in the keto space who was saying it was a very low carb cookie, and then it turned out they were using regular sugar chocolate chips because they didn't list what was in the chocolate chips. I would not even pass this out to children on Halloween. Well, I was gonna say a lot of times we review products and we're like not for us, but like we will give it to our kids or our nephews. They're gonna poop this themselves. goes in the garbage because you're going to live on the bathroom when yeah. you eat more than a serving or even a serving. It even says it on the bag. Eat too much of this and you're gonna have some bloating issues. Warning. You're gonna have some gas issues. So imagine if if you're like, okay, well we need to switch out for the Halloween candy and we'll get, just give the kids, hey, eat this entire bag. Like, you know, you'll be fine. I would rather you eat this than, you know, regular Reese's. No, they're going to be sick in their stomach. It's gonna hurt. They're gonna have some cramping. And here's the thing, even if you're not keto, if you happen to come across this review and you're not keto and you just wanted to this. review this, maybe you're a diabetic, don't eat this okay don't eat it okay please don't eat this this is horrible for you editing joe editing joe you will better bleep catch out. These. he will put a bleep in i i would like to say worse words but we're, we're just gonna put the bleep right there okay let us know if you've tried these hopefully you tried it and then threw it in the garbage Hopefully you looked at the ingredient label before you bought it yeah. and threw it back on the shelf and maybe turned it around so nobody else would see it either. Yeah. I don't know. Let us know about that down in the comment section. Now, if you like seeing 
product review videos like this, check out some of the other We're videos. We're not usually this angry. That we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which we're gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we do a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Bye. Bye.